If you've purchased your first IFAC or individual first aid kit, you're probably familiar with these basic simple trauma shears. Most of these come in every single kit you get. However, they're limited in what they can do and sometimes they're pretty thin and of lesser quality. Today, we're taking a look at an upgrade from Rhino Rescue. These are the folding emergency EMT shears. Let's check them out. All right, folks, welcome back. So I wanted to show you these because I feel these have um, so much more use for uh, your emergency kits as well as your everyday carry. Um, they have a ton of tools on them. And like I said, if you've got your first um, IFAC or individual first aid kit or trauma kit, whatever, you'll see these, you'll know what they are. Uh, basically, they're designed to cut under clothing without sharp edges so that if you're having to remove a piece of clothing off a limb of somebody, um, you can do it without injuring them. And, you know, if they're incapacitated, you need to put a tourniquet on or whatever, you can do that fairly simply. And that's what these are for. Now, these are from Rhino Rescue. They're actually from another kit that I will be reviewing from them. And they're pretty decent, actually. These are actually pretty decent. They're stainless steel, decent thickness. They go up into the handle somewhat, so they won't just crack off. But these are a huge, huge upgrade. So these Rhino Rescue shears are designed to provide emergency tools for response professionals to quickly and safely respond to critical situations. That's what I like about them. They got a bunch of different tools in them. They have been developed with input of specialized operation medics, EMTs, and fire professionals who are familiar with standard shears. This tool features a well-balanced but not overpowered set of multi-purpose functions that can be used in a variety of emergency situations without complicating them further. I'm going to show you them really quickly here. Let me open up the, the thing here. Okay, And this will just slide right out like that. You do have instructions, although I'm going to explain the whole thing to you, so it's fairly basic. And this is what they'll look like folded up. Very, very simple. You'll probably recognize this kind of a thing from other kits that are out there on the market. Uh, you just pull them open like this, and you'll hear them click into place. These are your buttons to close them up. So when you want to close it, you'll just push that that way and fold them forward, but you'll hear it click open. Very positive clicking there. Very nice set of shears on the front. Um, you do have that little serration there on the front. Let me see. Can you see that? And very, very sharp. Uh, we are going to test these out with all of their different little um, intricacies. You will notice this does have a nice little pocket clip here. This is a very, very tight pocket clip. The first time you put it in your pants, trust me, you're going to have to really give it a good shove in there. But that's good because these will get weaker over time. Uh, feels good in my hand, honestly. Enough room there for my fingers, even with my huge hands. Uh, you do have a glass breaker on the back. You got a little lanyard hole here if you want to put a lanyard on it. You do have a measurement device in centimeters. That's kind of handy if you're describing a wound. Um, like if I got this thing here, I can say it's all like half a centimeter on that little cut there, you know, or three quarters of a centimeter. I don't know. Uh, regardless, it's a small little cut. You can take that and put it up against it. So if you're measuring an injury on somebody, you have up to five centimeters there to, to explain it. You do have another interesting feature here. I'm going to put this this way so I can show it to you. This is a strap cutter or a seat belt cutter on the inside. Does work fairly well. It's actually pretty darn sharp. So does work very well for that. Okay. And lastly, if you notice on the back here, right here, you have a ring cutter. And believe it or not, we're going to test that too because I got an old junk ring here that I can cut and show you how it works. So we're going to test it all out, but I do want to show you how sharp the shears are. So like I said, it's got folding shears, strap cutter, ring cutter, five centimeter ruler. Does have an oxygen wrench here for oxygen tanks if you have to open it up. And on the back, like I told you, the carbide glass breaker. That's the only thing I really can't test because I don't want to break a bottle or something and cut my hands up and eat this for real. <laughs> so that's pretty much it. But uh, we will be trying it out. So the first thing I'm going to do with it is try it out on some old jeans. I use these jeans for uh, charcoal off material. They're old. They were way too big on me. And uh, I decided to cut them up and use them for char cloth material. And just as a side tip, aside from this, jeans make awesome char cloth. So let's get them out here and let's try the scissors part because that's the most important part. See how well that works. All right, so as you can see, these things have been chopped to pieces. But uh, let's give it a try and see how it works. If I'm cutting through here, trying to get at somebody's leg for an injury, you can see these just tear right through easily. No problems whatsoever. Uh, they... Actually, I'm probably going to use these to cut this up when I do make charcoal cloth out of it because that made it very, very handy and easy to do. See? Right through there. So, compared to your average EMT shears, and don't get me wrong, the ones that Rhino Rescue sends out 
with their basic IFACs are pretty decent. You see that does cut through there very, very easily. But something like this has a little more girth to it, a little more power behind it. Best, that's the best way I could really explain it. And it seems to do a pretty darn good job. And it cuts right through that gene material. And that's really the only thing I could think of. Um, even if we were to, say, double this up. Let's see. See, even doubled up. Even doubled up and folded. That's cutting through there. No problem whatsoever. So it's past that test. Let's try the strap cutter on some paracord. All right, pretty simple to use these. I have them open now, I'll close them up, show you. Okay, you have that piece here that's hidden on the side there. It doesn't really even look like anything. I had to look for it when I first opened these up. You will do that there to keep it from, you know, it's got a little liner lock type thing. You do that there to keep it from uh, springing back on you. And you're gonna place it on here. I'm gonna have to move off camera and show you this. There you go right through it no problem whatsoever so that is definitely sharp um one of the things i noticed when i was playing with it is i noticed just how sharp it really is in there if you can take a good look at it and see nice sharp edge in there so it will definitely get through paracord without a problem um seat belts well i don't have an extra seat belt to cut but that's the idea of it to uh to make this a full use tool so if you have to get somebody out of a vehicle in a hurry or get a strap off that can work now that said you probably could cut a seat belt with this too but nice to have the extra tool on there for whatever else you're going to use. Remember, this isn't just in the realm of, you know, emergency medical stuff. I know a lot of people who carry around shears like this because they come in handy. How many times have you bought something in a blister pack and sat there in your car with your pocket knife trying not to cut your finger? Well, here you go. Pull this out of your pocket, cut it open. Definitely, so far, looking good. All right, let's try that uh, ring cutter. We know the ruler works, obviously. So let's try the ring cutter and see how well that works. All right, so got an old chunker ring here. It's just costume jewelry. Uh, there's your ring cutter right in there, okay? You can see that little spot there. We're gonna go under here. There you go. Clips right through it. We'll even try it again for a little piece. Now again, this is just costume jewelry. It's nothing expensive, but still you can tell that cuts right through it without even the hardest bit of struggle there. Right through that easy. Okay, so let's fold it up. Fold it up like that. Real easy to do. And there you go. What I like about this is it does have a very positive lock when you open it up. All right, when you open this up, you can feel it and hear it. That's why I put it up to the mic there you can actually hear it click and lock open again you have a nice strap here strap is very strong like i told you in the beginning so the information on this your closed length is five inches open length eight inches your blade length on it is 1.9 inches your width on it is 1.9 inches overall thickness on the thing in your pocket will be 0.67 inches and the weight on it is 5.8 ounces so while built like a tank it's not ridiculously heavy and large definitely some really nice talking points for me i mean i gotta say i um really like the fact that i have a little portable emt shears that are with me all the time that i can carry in my pocket that simply and to show you something a good example next to it let's take a lighter and put it up there give you a little side by side example you can see it's not much bigger than your average lighter okay so very very simple very small compact really hardy uh, I, I don't know that i'd put a paracord thing on there you know a lanyard i don't think i would but if you want to that's an option so what these are going to do is go into my other ifac kit on my second um system my second uh plate carrier system and again i'm slowly building that kit up and eventually when it's all done we'll bring it back to the channel and show you it but uh, i'm definitely impressed with them and they were only 34.99 so 35 bucks from Rhino Rescue. I will put a link down below where you can check it out and you can see if there's any discount codes or anything down there. But I think it's well worth it for something that you may only use for a second, but you need it to work every single time. Now, yes, if you're in a uh, medical scenario and you want to leave these deployed all the time like that, of course you can do that. But if you're carrying these every day and you don't want to have a big pair of scissors sticking out of your, your uh, pocket, very, very simple to fold up going the wrong way there very simple to fold up and it's funny you know there's a guy in town here the reason i noticed him is many many years ago i sold a handgun to a gun store and he ended up being the one buying it and i saw him walking around walmart with it open carried one day and i'm like wow hey i recognize that but he also had a little emt kit on him that he always kept on his hip and he had a big pair of emt shears sticking out and like i said they can kind of be a little unwieldy and large so 
something like this would be a really, really nice upgrade. Anyway, folks, that's the video for today. Link will be down below. Definitely check it out. Don't forget to check out our links down below. We have our Amazon affiliate store. Again, if there's nothing in the store that you're thinking you want to pick up, most of the stuff is what I use in the channel. Um, you can click the link and shop as you normally would. We do appreciate that. Below that is our freeze-dried wholesaler link. That link will save you 15%. Got some videos coming up for freeze dry wholesalers, so definitely check out the link. Um, things are coming back into stock. I had some people asking me what was going on with things being out of stock. Is everything okay? They're working their butts off, okay? They're, they're trying really hard. We had a very, very busy month last month, uh, people buying a lot of stuff. Um, I don't have any information on new sales or mid rats coming up, but the link itself will save you 15%. So if you want to get stocked up on food, now's the time to do it. Beat the rush. You can go right there to freeze dried wholesalers via my link and when you check out you'll save 15 percent below that is our money metals exchange folks if you're interested in getting started in some kind of precious metal money metals exchange has some awesome deals for you including the silver kit i will link directly to the silver kit down below and our my patriot supply link that's prepare with iridium.com 200 bucks this month off our three month kit Three months worth of food, 200 bucks off, way, way under $800 now. Really looking like a good deal for three months worth of food. Um, with that $200 discount, it takes you down way, way low. Uh, below that is our Thrive Life freeze-dried food store. Don't forget to check out Thrive Life for the cleanest, freshest food. Anyway, folks, I thank you for watching. Stay safe and stay prepared.